What's up dudes, how you guys doing out there today? Hope you're doing good. Today we got a quick little video to show you guys how to use a drip mop. Now, I know a lot of you guys are experts out there. You know what you're doing. You've been doing this for a while. You're probably wondering why I'm doing something so elementary. Good question. Well, the thing is, is we're, we're popping off, baby. <laughs> I mean, we are popping off right now. I can't even keep up. I, I can't keep up. And um, we have so many new people, so many new people trying out all this stuff. They have so many questions. And I figured it was high time we show people some basic stuff because there's a lot of noobs. And we want to make the noobs know that, you know, you can learn. It's easy to learn the basics. And I'm the one here to teach you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So for those who don't know, a drip mop or a drippy mop or a mop is a squeezable plastic marker that you can use to put like paint or ink or any one of those type of things inside of. I prefer a painty mop. Now you can use ink as well, but keep in mind the inks tend to be a lot more drippy. If you want, you can mix the two together and make a hybrid. We've done that in previous videos before because the ink does stain while the paint is more permanent outside. So if you want to get a little bit of best of both worlds, you can definitely mix it up. It's got a dauber type nib, as you can see right here, just like a bingo dauber. You guys see that? It's probably not in focus. Let me see right here. There we go right there. Basically it's a bingo dauber repurposed for graffiti. They come in all different types, all different sizes, just like people, all different sizes, all different types. Uh, but my particular favorite one is the Art Primo Drip Mop. Now I know because we make it, I like it, of course. We make a lot of different types of mops, but the reason why I like this one is I find it to be the most versatile, the best size, and it's very pocket friendly. You know, it, it fits, it's very concealable. As you can see, it just fits right in there. Very, very easy. It's a great little marker. They're also very clean. You'll find that a lot of graffiti markers are very messy, they're drippy, they make a huge mess. But I would say this is probably the cleanest one for mops. So why don't we do this? Let's just do a couple quick tags with it. I got a list right here that I'll be working off this week for a few different videos. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Now, this particular one is filled with Art Primo's Spring Fever Mop Ink, which was kind of a temporary name. I think we were gonna call it something like more edgy and cool. Uh, Spring Fever was supposed to be temporary, but it actually got very popular. So we left it as is. So at this point, I don't think we should change the name because most people are used to calling it that. And um, I guess we'll just have to roll with it. Anyways, so let me show you the basics of a mop. Okay, first you take the cap off, unscrew the cap. If you were to fill the mop, you would have to take the nib off and then fill the ink and go like that, right? Pretty self-explanatory. Um, just one second, there we go. Okay, so this is just a regular old butter knife. You see this right here? This is what I like to use to take the nibs off the drip mops. The reason why I like it is it's sharp enough to get in there so you can pry the nib off, but it's not so sharp that you cut the nib in half or cut your finger, which you don't wanna do. So go ahead and pull the nib out, just like that. Fill it with your favorite ink, not on your mom's couch, not on your dad's car, not in your sister's room. Go outside, fill your mop. If it's your own house or if it's your own room and your parents don't care, that's fine. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I am not responsible for your behavior. So once you have your mop filled with your favorite ink, what you gotta do is get the nib started, right? Get the nib saturated, get it going, and then you can start painting with it. Very easy to do. We'll use this little knife here as an example. So what you wanna do is just prime the nib, not prime rib, prime nib. See right here, check this out, check this out. Just get the nib. Give it a little bit of a squeeze to get the nib going. You see that right there? And it's as easy as that. Once the nib is saturated, you're ready to start writing. So let me show you. Let me show you how it works. Can you guys see me over here? So what you wanna do, now, like everything, everyone has their own way of doing things, but the basic formula is this. Squeeze lightly, write medium to slow, and you'll get it right, just like this. Now I'm giving it a little bit of an extra squeeze because I like it a little extra drippy. You don't really have to squeeze at all if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. <clears throat> but as you can see with the squeeze, you get a little bit of extra drips and I kind of like that. All right, so let's hit off a couple names real quick here. Uh, the first is going to be Azer, Azer. And Azer is hitting me up out of Chicago. And he actually, he actually writes with his girlfriend, Oryx, 
which I thought was really cool because when she hit me up, it was him and his girlfriend, and she was like, she's like, can you hit up Oryx and Azer? And I was like, Oryx, Oryx. I was like, where do I remember that? Oryx and Crake, and I love that book uh, because it involves this scientist who makes this, uh, well, let's just say, <laughs> it's very much like what's going on right now. Very interesting book, Oryx and Crake. Uh, if you like post-apocalyptic stories, which I'm a big fan of, you'll definitely like it. Anyways, so let's hit up Oryx. There you go, big ups to Oryx, pretty tight. Okay, uh, oh, sweet, let's hit up sweet, sweet. Big ups to Sweet. Uh, oh, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Now, when I'm, when I'm writing down like this, I'll try not to squeeze too hard because what will happen is you'll basically just drip all into your, your right. You know what I mean? So don't squeeze too hard on the downward rights because, well, as you can imagine, you'll basically cross yourself out. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Who's next? Who's next? Um, don't have a lot of room here. Let me lower my chair here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna write Bean. Uh, this uh, this couple hit me up. Their daughter Bean passed away a couple years ago, and that's God, everyone's dying. <sighs> you only live once, so let's give her some love. I mean, that's that's gotta be like the hardest thing ever to lose your child. I can only imagine. Um, so let's give her some love, guys. Let's give her some love. I'm gonna give her a little halo. That's hard, man. RIP Bean. Okay, so who's next? Who's next? Um, C's. Let's do C's. Let's do a hit off for C's. Big C's in the house. Very nice. I used to know a guy that wrote C's. I remember that guy. Uh, okay, who else is next? Who else is next? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Econ. Econ 157. Econ 157. I like that name because it sounds like some kind of old school New York kind of thing, you know? I really dig that. Econ157. Um, maybe he's in, maybe he's taking economics. Who knows? He's on his way. Uh, let's see, let's see. I only got a little bit of room left. I only got a little bit of room left. And <laughs> as you can see, the drips are definitely coming. Uh, can you see me down here? Can you guys see me down here? I'll do a little pan of the whole wall when I'm done. I'll do a little pan of the whole wall. So this is going to be Rassel. Big ups to Rassel. He likes to Rassel, I think. <laughs> As you can see with the drip mop, you can get a lot of different styles. You know, if you're really into that kind of Keith Haring, kind of like groovy kind of character thing that he does, this is a great tool for that. So if you work on canvases and stuff, you're really into that, highly recommend it. Um, but there's a lot of different things you can do. Whatever type of ink you want, whatever type of whatever, water-based, oil-based, it don't matter. Um, well, I will say this, if it's like xylene or oil-based, it's possible that you could dry out the nib or the marker could get deformed. Uh, don't keep it in too dry of a space. Maybe put it in a Ziploc bag or something like that. It'll last longer. Water-based will last the longest. Uh, but as we all know, the solvent-based stuff definitely writes the best. That's my opinion. And I'm right. I'm right. Anyways, so I hope you understand how to use a drip mop now. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to comment below. Be sure to hit us up at artprimo.com, 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 your number one source for all things graffiti. Also give me a follow at GR Reviews on Instagram. Uh, we like to do memes, graffiti, uh, banter, talk about stuff. You know, we have a good time. We have a good time. It is my personal account, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm a character. Uh, but if you want like the straight 
traditional stuff, definitely hit up at Art Primo. That's our main account for all the, the you know, the, the photos of graph supplies, uh, all the updates of everything that we got going on. Definitely hit up Art Primo, the number one source. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's do a pan out and I got to go. Peace.